So next I'm going to assess for psoas related pain. So there are three tests that I like to do for this. The first is to assess the strength of hip flexion. So I'll ask Jesse to bring his hip up into about 80 or 90 degrees of hip flexion and pull up against resistance. So if you pull hard there, Jesse, pull hard, pull hard. So powerful muscle, sometimes hard to resist. We're looking for pain or weakness. And often the power may seem quite good, but if you compare to the other side, there's a clear difference between the painful side and the asymptomatic side. So resisted hip flexion. We're also going to palpate around the psoas tendon or the psoas muscle. So we find the level of the ASIS and then come a little medially to that and palpate deeply. We can get down onto the psoas muscle. So to palpate that well, I like the athlete to take a big breath in and then a big breath all the way out and we're palpating down on that muscle. So is that painful? Does that reproduce anything akin to your pain? The third test for psoas related pain that I think is useful is to assess the modified Thomas position and look at muscle length and stretch. So Jesse, we'll get you to come stand at the end of the bed. So what we're going to get you to do is flex your left leg up towards you and hug that. And then lean back on the bed. Let your other leg hang nice and loose. So we're assessing muscle length. Ideally, we'd we like to see his tibia sitting at around about 90 degrees of knee flexion. So there's some tightness of his quadriceps. We'd like to see his uh, thigh sitting below the horizontal, so there's some tightness of his hip flexors. So is there any pain just with that position and adding in a, a gentle stretch? So pain in that position, modified Thomas position, again is helping paint a picture of psoas-related pain.